Hey, welcome back to my series, Who Wants to Be the Best Website Builder? If you missed the first episode about Hostinger, you can check it out after this video. Today, the contestant stepping onto the stage is none other than Squarespace, promising to be the best for creatives and modern businesses, but we'll be the judge of that. So buckle up and let's dive into this Squarespace review. Just like we did in the first hosting a review, oh, I mean episode, episode, we'll break this Squarespace review into five chapters. Ease of use, pricing, features, especially the AI tools, performance, how fast Squarespace really is, and security. Each chapter will have a small conclusion. So if you're mainly interested in something like pricing, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps. Who knows, maybe Squarespace is a perfect website builder for you. Now, let's dive in and find out. First off, I can say this immediately. Squarespace is designed with simplicity in mind. While it's not a perfect builder, it's a no-code platform with polished, beginner-friendly tools that make website creation straightforward and stress-free. Let's say I want to start a new project. All I have to do is sign up, pick from one of hundreds of professionally designed templates, and boom. Like Hostinger, Squarespace also offers AI-driven site generation, but it's a bit different. Rather than truly generating unique designs, it provides a few section options based on your answers during setup. It's a solid way to quickly create a basic site, but it doesn't really feel like AI. It's more like a simple onboarding tool. To compare, the designs I got from Hostinger felt a bit more dynamic, whereas Squarespace tends to be more static and same-ish looking. Both options are great, but Squarespace leans heavily into its polished uniform aesthetic. If you're someone who values customization, this could feel a bit limiting. So I would highly recommend sticking with the templates. They're some of the best in the market. And no, this isn't just my personal opinion. Squarespace has won numerous web design awards, and it's easy to see why. The templates are modern, stylish, and minimalistic, offering any project a polished, elegant feel. And let's not forget Squarespace has a knack for memorable marketing campaigns. Whether it's their high profile ads featuring Adam Driver or their sleek promotional materials, it's clear their marketing team knows what they're doing. When it comes to editing and managing your website, we absolutely need to do the mom test again. Basically, could my mom build something functional without calling me every five minutes? With Squarespace, I'd say yes. The platform is intuitive with a clean interface that focuses on core essentials. However, it's almost too minimalistic, which might sound odd, but it can actually lead to some confusion. For example, while editing a design, the interface remains so visually cohesive and understated that it's hard to tell you're in editing mode apart from a few small elements at the top. For someone like my mom, it might take a minute to get the hang of things. Compared to Hostinger's selection, Squarespace's elements offer more than just the basics. Of course, you'll find standard options like images, forms, and charts, but as you scroll further, you'll discover features like SoundCloud players, extensive social media integrations, and even donation tools. This versatility means Squarespace can cater to a wide range of websites, whether you're a local musician or a multi-chain burger restaurant. With all the shapes, animations, and stylization options available, I'd say this is my favorite element section from any builder I've used. Hitting that sweet spot of not too much, not too little, but just right. To sum up, if you're looking for a straightforward way to build a website without weeks of learning, Squarespace is a fantastic choice. It's user-friendly, powerful, and tailored for beginners. I'd confidently say it's one of the top website builders for creatives and small businesses. That said, its AI tools could benefit from a little extra innovation to stay ahead of the curve. The next, the next chapter, chapter in our website, website builder story, story is all about, about cold, hard, hard cash. cash. The key factor for many people when choosing a builder. So first off, unlike some competitors, Squarespace does offer a free trial, a 14 day period where you can explore its features without spending a dime. Cool. This gives Squarespace an edge over platforms like Shopify, which offers only a three day trial. However, it falls short compared to Wix, which lets you host for free forever. As for pricing, Squarespace's premium subscriptions start at approximately $16 per month, but that only covers one website. If you need the business plan or e-commerce features, you'll be looking at $23 to $28 per month. Compared to other website builders, these prices are fairly standard. But when you stack it against a multi-site hosting platform like Hostinger, the value proposition shifts significantly depending on your specific needs. Squarespace's real value lies in its polished all-in-one approach. 
Essentially, you're paying for a platform that prioritizes a seamless user experience and sleek design, making it perfect for creatives, small business owners, or anyone looking to avoid the hassle. Of course, that convenience comes with a higher monthly bill. My recommendation is to start with a personal plan, as you can always upgrade if your projects require more features. I've included discount links below if you're planning to grab the Squarespace website builder. While Hostinger may take the cake when it comes to monthly prices, Squarespace stands out in other areas compared to many hosting-based builders, chiefly in its lack of surprise renewal hikes. Unlike most hosting providers that lure you in with steep discounts only to significantly raise the price later, Squarespace maintains the same rate upon renewal. One challenge with many website builders is the infamous lock-in problem, which I've touched on in my hosting review. Once you build your site on a platform, it's often difficult or even impossible to transfer it elsewhere. While Squarespace doesn't fully escape this criticism, it does offer the ability to export content, such as blog posts, to a WordPress compatible file. While not as seamless as Hostinger's WordPress transformation option, it's still an improvement over platforms that offer no escape. So while Squarespace may not beat Hostinger for sure value, it's a very fairly priced provider in the website builder market. You can tell that it's not trying to take all your money, it's genuinely focused on helping you build your business, which is a refreshing approach. We've wrapped up pricing, so now let's dive into features, the bread and butter of what makes a website builder stand out. We discussed the highly polished ecosystem that Squarespace is known for, and it's clear they've invested heavily in delivering an overall comprehensive suite of tools for creators, businesses, and e-commerce owners alike. Unlike newer platforms that are still ironing out their offerings, <coughs> Hostinger, Squarespace feels like a complete package, largely because it handles a lot of things in-house. While many builders rely on extensive plugin or app markets to fill in the gaps, Squarespace's add-on selection is more limited. However, its ecosystem includes stunning templates, powerful design tools, and seamless integrations for everything from marketing to e-commerce. This makes it ideal for users who want a one-stop shop without relying on constant third-party add-ons. To be fair, this may not make it the best fit for complex or very large projects, but it has everything a beginner or small site would need, making it a great choice as an e-commerce website builder. A lesser known but super useful feature is the custom CSS editor, allowing advanced users to fine tune designs beyond what the standard controls offer. However, it can be a bit difficult to find since you need to go to pages, then a website tools, and only then can you type in your code. Beginners, on the other hand, can rely on pre-built sections to make a professional looking site without breaking a sweat. What I personally love about Squarespace is that it doesn't overlook the importance of marketing tools and supporting the growth of your business. While marketing may not be the main focus of web building, many platforms geared towards beginners often expect those beginners to be marketing experts. As you can imagine, this isn't always ideal, especially for new business owners. Squarespace makes it easy with email campaigns, allowing you to track beautifully designed emails directly from your dashboard. You also get Squarespace's SEO tools, complete with helpful checklists. So even if it's your first rodeo with SEO, you can still perform basic optimizations. Plus, it's simple to connect your Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook to display feeds or post updates directly from Squarespace. A simple feature, but not all builders offer it, believe it or not. And on top of that, you get in-depth analytics and built-in tools for running Google ad campaigns and tracking their performance. While Squarespace doesn't yet include advanced AI content generators, meaning Hostinger takes the lead in this area, it excels in other ways. Squarespace offers far more options for stylization and even includes built-in photo editing tools, such as cropping, filters, and light adjustments. This means you don't need extra software for image tweaks. No more paying for that $7 a week app just to remove a watermark. For online stores, Squarespace offers a commerce plan with no transaction fees, aside from those charged by your payment gateway, of course. It's an ideal starting point for a small business with tools specifically designed for small to medium-sized businesses. I also really like that they include abandoned cart recovery, which gently nudges potential customers to complete their purchase. However, it's worth noting that transaction fees and more advanced features are only available in the highest tier plan. I suppose you have to spend money to make money. Squarespace currently supports three payment gateways, PayPal, Stripe, and Square. Though keep in mind that Square is only available to US residents. 
While it may not be as feature rich as Shopify when it comes to integrations or scaling for large enterprises, these options should be sufficient for most users. That said, more choice is always welcome because, well, choice is good. The last thing I wanna cover is Squarespace Unfold. It's a completely separate free app that allows you to create social media content in seconds using templates and pre-made designs. I've used it a few times. While definitely nothing magical, it can help organize things better, especially if you're managing a few different projects at the same time. For larger and more complex projects, you may need to consider whether its limited customization options or lack of plugins will be a deal breaker. However, for most users, Squarespace's ease of use and robust built-in features make it a reliable investment. Let's that, shift gears into, into the, the next, next chapter, chapter. Performance. performance. Just like we did with Hostinger, we're gonna dive into Squarespace's uptime and stress test, not just loading speed. Since you can't really do much to improve the performance side of a website builder, you wanna make sure you're stuck with one that's fast, or at least decent. Google recommends a load time of 2.5 seconds or less for optimal SEO results. Basically, faster websites are more likely to rank higher in Google search results. Just so you know, Squarespace servers use solid state drives, SSDs, which are significantly faster than older storage solutions. However, SSDs still aren't as fast as the NVMe drives that Hostinger uses, and that difference is reflected in the results. In my test, a basic Squarespace site loaded fully in around three seconds, a good result for an all-in-one website builder but it falls bit out of that recommended time. Now it's not terrible. For comparison, builders like Wix often hover around seven seconds due to the sheer weight of their platform. But light systems like Hostinger do show two to three times better performance. Next up, if you don't know, uptime refers to the percentage of time your website is accessible over a given period, usually a month. Naturally, you want this as close to 100% as possible, but due to natural forces and technical updates, this can't always be the case. So some downtime is expected and sort of like a regular thing in website hosting. Over a month long monitoring period, Squarespace maintained 99.99% .99 uptime with no major outages or interruptions, only small hiccups here and there. You also probably wanna have more than two visitors. So what a lot of reviews forget, the server you're hosting your site on has to withstand stress or a flood of users. Imagine getting popular and new visitors are hit with this. Kind of a terrible look on your site, isn't it? So I conducted a stress test by simulating 50 concurrent users visiting my Squarespace site for 10 minutes. Also, keep in mind that 50 users at the same time is a lot. And not every website reaches highs like this. So we're testing not only for small projects. The results were promising. Squarespace managed the load seamlessly with no errors whatsoever. However, the response time did have a bit more ups and downs than Hostinger did. Nothing major, but hey, if you're comparing things, compare all of them. Squarespace also has some life and performance improving features, including a content delivery network to speed up loading by delivering assets from servers closest to the user. It also ensures high quality visuals without slowing down your site by automatically compressing your uploads. Overall, the level of stability and speed is excellent for most small to medium businesses. While there's room for improvement or the potential to incorporate newer technologies for that extra boost, it's definitely not a slow or poor provider by any means. Plus, Squarespace includes built-in caching to reduce server load and improve page load times for returning visitors. To wrap, to wrap up, up our, our Squarespace, Squarespace show, show, let's, let's talk, talk about, about security, security, which is built in, automatic, and takes most of the guesswork out of protecting your site. Every plan comes with a free SSL certificate, and I probably don't need to tell you why that's important. Without an SSL, your site will appear suspicious in Google's eyes. Squarespace's infrastructure also includes protection against distributed denial of service, or DDoS attacks, which can overwhelm a site with fake traffic. The Squarespace team monitors and updates the platform regularly to address vulnerabilities and keep your site secure. However, unlike Hostinger, Squarespace does not do automatic backups of your site. I mean, the security package is good here and Squarespace isn't prone to getting hacked, but some backups for this price would be good to have. So overall, security is strong here and your site won't be in any danger, but there are a few places where it could be better. But hey, it allows you to set pass keys or two-factor authentication, which is always nice since someone sneaking into your account through a weak password seems to be the biggest issue with web builders in general. 
All right, that's a wrap on the Who Wants to Be the Best Website Builder episode featuring Squarespace. As you saw, it's a very solid builder, perfect for creatives, small businesses, or anyone looking for modern and stylish designs. There are a few areas that could be improved, but overall, it's well worth the asking price. And hey, with the link below, it can be even better. Thanks for watching episode two of Who Wants to Be the Best Website Builder series. I hope you're enjoying the ride. I know I sure did. If you have any questions or just want to chat, leave a comment below and maybe drop a like if you're still here, the real MVP. All right, enough jabbering. I'll see you on the next episode.